are here with some of the children that are involved in the upcoming musical Peter Pan and you all are all in a workshop together and you're also cast in the play. We have the director of the, hello? Workshop Peter workshop. Pan workshop. <laughs> Peter Pan workshop and this is Ross Lovick. I'm going to let you hold the mic. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing with the children and we're going to introduce you all at some point but I want you to tell kind of an overview. Okay, many of the children um, are in the workshop to learn acting skills, uh, which are not available usually in this young, at this young age uh, at school. So they come to the workshop and they learn where to stand, how to stand, how to project. Do you uh, learn stage directions and that kind of thing too? Yeah. We teach, them, we teach them all the basics. Uh, sometimes uh, we have one hour of acting instruction and then afterwards uh, the lost boys go and they uh, work on their scripts. And the Indian girls, uh, they work on a dance with uh, Hannah Horton, uh, who is uh, also, I think, the mermaid. Is, is she the mermaid? Yes. So, uh, and they've done really well. Uh, when I first met these children, they... Um, were very shy and unable to uh, project their voices and now they are reaching the balcony and they are standing still on stage. They are listening to stage direction and uh, they're really, really amazing. I, I love working with them. Okay, thank you. And I want to start by going down and letting y'all introduce yourselves, okay? <laughs> Someone's excited about that. Just say your name and maybe how old you are. Your real name? Zane, and I am nine years old. And what part do you play? Second twin. Okay, a lost boy. Okay, how about you? I am Caden Lambert, and I am six years old, and I will be playing Nibs. And that's a lost boy, too? Mm -hmm. Okay. He's like the littlest. He's what? Littlest. The littlest lost boy. Okay. <laughs> I'm James Marshall, and I am 12 years old. I'm playing the first twin, and that's also a lost boy. Okay. And you, I'm going to let you hold the mic if you want to. Okay. I'm Addie Jones. I am 9 years old, and I am an Indian. Okay. Oh, uh, we know you. I am, Tyler, I am Tyler Weaver, and I am 9 years old, and I am playing Michael Darling. I'm going to let you hand the mic to her, and then Dan. I am Candace Lambert. I am eight years old, and I will also be playing an Indian. I'm Kinder Henricks. I am playing um, a lost boy named Toodles, and I'm 11. I am Evan Khan, and I, and I am 10 years old, and I am playing an Indian. I am Jackson. I am 10 years old, and, I, and my name is Curly, and I am a lost boy. All right. Now, I just want to let people know that there's a lot more cast that, uh, of Lost Boys and Indians that didn't get to show up today. So, This uh, is how, just a portion. Yes. How big is the cast, Roz? Uh, there are 15. I'm Let me sorry. This. There are 15 uh, in, the work, in the workshop, and there's about 40 in the cast total. Um, of course, we have many adults that are uh, playing different parts, and, and some of the children, of course, are in camp during the day or, or yeah. um, vacation Bible school, so they couldn't be here. Um, and uh, they are, like I said, they are truly amazing. They're having a good time, I think. Aren't you all having a good time? Yeah. Good well, deal. Well, produ the production's coming up real soon. August 2nd, is that right? The first, August 2nd, first day they open showing. at 7 o'clock at the Lyric. Saturday night also, August 3rd uh, at 7 on Sunday the 4th is at 2. I, was, I had to get verification of that. Uh -huh. And then the following weekend uh, on the Friday, which would be the 9th, it is also at 7. But on Saturday, we are having a matinee uh, and an evening performance. The matinee is at 2 o'clock as well. And that's uh, then 7 o'clock. And then on Sunday will be the last performance. And that'll be at two. And you've added an extra performance this year because of the overwhelming response that we've had with summer musicals. And anytime there are kids involved, there's always a good audience. So we have had to turn people away uh, during. Uh, well, I think it's the start of it was our first summer musical. We had to turn people away on Sunday because they thought, well, there's usually not that big of a crowd on Sunday. Wrong. And they got here, and they got to the ticket booth, and we said, there are no seats available. Um, we did put in chairs at one time. Uh, I mean, we just, 
And, and so we don't want to have to turn anybody away, but you can go on to the Ozark Arts Council website, buy your tickets, uh, you can choose your seats, you can pay for it with vouchers or a credit card, and um, that website is the uh, OAC... OzarkArtsCouncil.org. OzarkArtsCouncil.org. And like I said, buy your tickets now because uh, they are going quickly. Okay. Good. So if you're waiting until the last minute, don't do that. Hmm. Go ahead and go on the website now and buy. Or I guess you can call the OAC office, 741-391-391. No, what? 3504. <laughs> I'm trying to give out this phone number. Uh -huh. And I think that is manned from 10 to 2 yeah. daily, but you can also leave a message and they can get back with you. So don't forget to go ahead and purchase your tickets. And, and congratulations to all y'all kids. Yeah. Thank you. All right. It's wonderful to have you here, and we look forward to seeing you in the show. All right. All right, let's take a break. Up next, we'll be talking with Courtney Miller about the biggest loser here in Boone County. Stay with us.